Hi y'all, it's Kimberly here. Thank you for coming to my channel. Well, uh, this uh, disappearance of this young girl, Gabby Petito, 22 year old girl, young woman, uh, went on a trip, a van trip with her boyfriend, Brian Laundrie, and did not return. He returned and uh, just returned, like without her. Didn't say anything, wouldn't say anything, hasn't given any real statement. He has given some type of statement through his lawyer, but he has not uh, cooperated with the police. I mean, how does this happen? I mean, he comes home in her vehicle, and they had gone on a cross-country trip. Uh, they were putting it on YouTube, making videos, whatever, and uh, somewhere... I believe there was an area around um, Moab, Utah. There were two other people that were murdered. And it was alleged that these may have been tied in with her disappearance. And on that trip, there was a domestic disturbance between Brian and Gabby. And she was very emotionally upset. There was a body cam uh, video that was shown just I think it was released yesterday maybe and it shows her very upset crying um, the police was questioning her as to what happened in an incident where she I believe she slapped Brian's face or I'm not sure if slapped or hit or something but he had scratch marks or something on his face and the police were questioning her about that and Brian said that he was trying to calm her down, that he didn't want her to become uh, too upset, and that he locked her out of the vehicle. And there's some um, something that went on there. I don't, it didn't really go into great detail, but they did not arrest her. They separated the two. I think they put him in a motel, and she was in the van. And the next day they reunited, I guess, or after 24 hours, or I don't know, the next morning, I don't know when exactly, but, um, how in the hell does this guy just show back up without his partner, have no explanation, what does he say to the parents of, if he even said anything to them, I don't believe that he really did. There's been no real explanation coming from this guy. And can you imagine um, if this was your son? Uh, what kind of conversation are they having? You know, did he leave her out in the wilderness by herself? Alive? Or, you know, has something something happened to her? And which I kind of believe it's the, the latter thing. Uh, there has been no report of, you know... Her being rescued or being found alive in the woods or anything like that or in the area that where, well, still that's not determined yet, you know, exactly where she was left or what happened in what area, what region really. And uh, I just can't imagine being the parent of this guy. What do you do? How do you tell him? You need to tell us the truth. You know, I would be demanding the truth from him if I was a parent. You know, even if he was going to go to jail or what. This is not the t kind of person that I would want to raise as my child. I would not want this person to be harboring a secret like that. This is of the most vile act, you know, this person will probably ever commit in his lifetime. And for, if I were to be his parent, to help him keep that secret. And part of that would be questioning him. Where is she? What did you do? And if these parents cannot ask him that, I know there's a sense to protect your child. But there's also this need for the other parents to have their child back, you know, uh, even if she is deceased. They need to know for their peace of mind and be able to give her a burial with respect and dignity. And for these 
parents, even his sister, I believe, she made a statement, something that uh, she loved Gabby and she looked at her as a sister, but there was no real communication as to whether anybody has asked him straight out, what have you done? You know, where is she? And everything is being done through a lawyer. And this guy is just sitting pretty, just, it's unbelievable how he can just come back and not have anything to, to say, or he hasn't even uh, cooperated. He's not even helping, you know, uh, other people went out, I think they went out on a search or something and he didn't go. He didn't help. He didn't cooperate. Nothing. So that says a lot. That speaks volumes of the whole situation. He doesn't care. He He's had no, um, put no effort into uh, helping locate her or express what may have happened if there was an argument, if something physical happened. And uh, he hasn't said anything, anything of that nature. He hasn't, I mean, not a peep out of this guy. This is unbelievable. I can't, I would be... <laughs> I would be getting the information out of him if I was his parent. Uh, I wouldn't, I couldn't settle for this, even if it was my child. I would want for the other people to know what happened to their child. I would not, uh, I could not raise somebody like that would be what I would be telling my son. I couldn't, I cannot raise a child like this. You have to tell me, I have to know so that I can tell the other parent. It is unbelievable that he would keep this as a secret and thinking that he would get away with it or take the secret to his grave is um, just unfathomable that he would think to even do that. And if these other two people that were killed, if they were witnesses to something that may, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably what happened that they may have witnessed something because they were arguing and it may have uh, carried on for a few days or who knows what. Uh, and they may have seen something. I believe that there was a report by, I'm not sure if it was from the two people that were deceased, but somebody had made a report or something that there was a weird guy hanging around the, the camp area. And I don't know if that was uh, attributed to Brian Landry, Laundry or not, but uh, I did see some mention of something like that, and I'm not sure if that was um, being told to other witnesses by the deceased couple. I, I'm not sure what the story is behind that, but there is uh, some possibility that there were other witnesses, and uh, I just can't see this guy getting away with this. This is just unbelievable. It would be uh, just too simple, too easy. You know, you just leave with somebody and not come back and have their belongings with you be driving their vehicle and just decide I'm just not going to say anything maybe nobody will notice unbelievable okay uh, I'll make some more videos later thank you thank you for coming to my channel